Alright guys, today we are going to be doing Chiching number 133. So the first thing that I have is actually a Christmas related item. This was for a vintage plastic snowman shaped children's mug by FNF Mold that sold for $19.99. Um, I also sold a pair of coach sunglasses. These were in the style called Delphine. They sold for $49.99. I picked those up at a yard sale. And I'd say I paid $3 for those. It was definitely under five. I also sold an object. <laughs> Got a cha ching there. I also sold an Algenist Reconstructuring Serum for $69.99. Um, this did come from a beauty auction. Uh, so I have been selling a lot of just brand new, really nice high end skincare items that came from this auction. And I still have quite a lot left to list. So that was an item that was in there. Um, next thing was actually, these were by Streamline. They were like an atomic shaped uh, orange sugar and creamer. They called this style Tricorn. So it was a sugar and creamer set that sold for $49.99. I actually have some plates um, and cups that match this that are listed as well. And these came from a yard sale. I'd say I paid maybe $20 for the whole set that had like all the dishes, the plates, the cups, and the sugar and creamer with them. I also sold a Ralph Lauren silk scarf. Uh, this recently came from an auction. Uh, we won a tray of just really nice designer brand scarves for, I think Eric paid, I wanna say between 23 to $25 for the tray. I know it was in the $20 range. And that scarf alone sold for $49.99 also sold a set of vintage Disney books. This was like a whole four piece set in a like cardboard type of case. Those sold for $29.99 and I picked those up at a yard sale and I think I paid $5 for that set. Also sold a GameCube game of Mario Party 4 for $79.99. Eric had won a bunch of GameCube games at an auction and he was paying, I'd say $20 for like a stack of games. So there were some really good games in those stacks too, this being one of them. I also sold a Limoges. They call these condensed milk or jelly jars. I have sold a couple of them before in the past. I think this one probably came from an auction and I definitely feel like this one took a while to sell as opposed to some other ones that I have sold before in the past. This one sold for $119.99. Also sold a little miniature, it was a dollhouse miniature of a little brass spittoon for $9.99. Um, pretty sure I've sold these before. I had like a couple of them and they came on a tray of some stuff I won at an auction with just little dollhouse miniatures. Next was a baby fat perfume in the scent of Fabulosity that sold for $49.99 and that came from a yard sale. Um, so perfume, obviously you guys know you can list new perfume on eBay, uh, but you can't list used perfume on eBay. And I have been selling my used perfume over on Macari and I've been doing really, really well over on Macari with my used um, perfumes. I actually just sold something else on Macari for like a hundred some dollars just the other day. Um, it was for a vintage toy that was banned so you can't sell it on eBay. It was just so stupid like how you can sell something on one site and then the next site you can't sell it. Like Ugh, eBay drives me crazy sometimes, but regardless, um, Macari is definitely been really good lately as far as sales go as well. I also sold a Fenton Amberina glass cat. This came from a yard sale 
and it sold for $49.99. I think Eric paid about $10 for it. We also sold, these went to the same person. It was a philosophy pool house gift set. So everything inside kind of had a lemonade scent to it. That sold for $29.99 and that came from a beauty auction prior to the one where like the um, high-end skincare has been coming from. And they also purchased a Philosophy Lip Shine in the scent Coconut Milk. Um, the Philosophy Lip Shines, they're just like little, I actually have one right in front of me. They're just like little um, lip glosses that look like this and they come out with flavors and then those flavors get discontinued and some of the flavors can sell really well. This one here specifically came out in 2008, so it's definitely like getting back there, but people do collect these. They're really nice lip glosses. They're very highly fragrant and flavorful kind of thing and there is like a big kind of collection people people do collect these so that's why they sell well and that one the coconut milk sold for $29.99 <laughs> and that came from the same auction the other philosophy piece came from uh let's see i sold a vintage flamingo pin uh this was from 1969 and it said hylia um, park on it that sold for $19.99 and that came from a yard sale um, I had gone to a yard sale at one point and this lady had a whole bunch of jewelry and these jewelry boxes and boxes and she's like just pick out a box and load it up with jewelry and I'll give you a price for it so I loaded up a jewelry box of just the stuff that interested me and um, I think she charged me maybe $10 for all of it including the box uh, next we have a vintage from 1990. These were a complete set of McDonald's changeables. So they were like little transforming toys that look like the little McDonald's foods, but then would turn into like little robots, kind of like transformers. Those sold for $39.99 and they came from a lady I have been purchasing some vintage toys from. Next was a lot of Zuzu Pets hamsters so it was like a whole lot of hamsters including like a carrying case pretty sure i picked this up at a yard sale for i want to say five dollars and that sold for 39 dollars and 99 cents also sold a vintage rainbow puffer vest uh, this was definitely from like the 70s a really cool piece uh, that sold for $49.99 and I either picked that up at a fill a bag rummage sale or a yard sale so I'd say a dollar or less for that. Uh, next item also came from a yard sale I believe it was a cloisonne butterfly Christmas ornament that sold for $19.99 and I'd say I paid one to two dollars for that. Next item came from an auction. This was for those three Napco penguins. They sold for $19.99 and they were on a tray of some Christmas stuff I won at an auction. We also sold a folk art piece that we've had for a while um, that came from the folk art auction. This was, I think, our last PD Hoach. Um, this was a perched bird wooden carved sculpture that sold for a hundred and fifty nine dollars uh next couple of items were all halloween ornaments the catherine lily white ornaments you guys have been seeing these in a lot of my chichings and halloween is approaching us again so more of them are going out i sold a lot last year more is selling this year and i still have some left i think Eric and I were paying one to two dollars for these at a yard sale so the first one was a black cat with some pumpkins that sold for $12.99. Next one was um, some pumpkins, a ghost and a cat for $12.99. Then there was a ghost and a cat in front of a moon that sold for $12.99. And the last one was a little candy corn man that sold for $9.99. Also sold a pair of Crocs. These were in the style called Bea. And they had like a fur lining in them. Those sold for $39.99. And I'm pretty sure I picked those up at a yard sale for $5 or less. 
I also sold a Blossom Bucket little Santa shelf sitter for $12.99. Again, yard sale find, and I'd say a quarter to 50 cents for him. Next was an Avon, a vintage Avon perfume in the scent Fire Me Up. That sold for $19.99, and that came from an Avon, like, auction. I'd say I paid $1 for that. Um, this was a church sale find. Um, these were a pair of vintage Zodiac Western style cowboy boots with fringed sides. Those sold for $79.99. I think I did pay $10 for those. This next item also came from that auction where I got the Avon perfume. This was an Avon almond latte scented lotion that sold for seven dollars and 99 cents and again a dollar for that <laughs> next item also came from an auction erica only paid a dollar for this too nobody wanted it it was from 1998 it was kind of large this hanging um clowns in a hot air balloon it was kind of a really neat piece um and <laughs> he was telling me like no one is probably ever gonna buy that this we're just gonna be sitting on it forever and it actually sold the other day so <laughs> he was really tickled pink about that because he only paid a dollar and it sold for $79.99 and it actually went overseas I sold this also came from the Fogart auction I had gotten a bunch of pottery pieces by Michael and Miko Khan and these all had kind of like bugs in or on the pottery in some way and this one was a bowl that had cockroaches on it <laughs> ah, I hate bugs but these were really cool pieces um, and this bowl sold for $49.99 uh, next item came from the most recent beauty auction this was for a set of Nick Chave velvet mesquite shampoo and conditioner so these were like large jumbo bottles um, some Nick Chave hair care items um, have been discontinued and they sell for good money. So like if you ever come across that brand, I would definitely take a chance to look it up. So the shampoo and conditioner set sold for $99.99. Um, we also sold, you had seen this I think in my last haul video, we sold vintage from 1992, the Halloween McNugget Buddies. This was the first series. They sold for $79.99, and like I said, they came from the lady we've been buying some vintage toys from. Um, next was a set of Lennox Winnie the Pooh jam jars that sold for $32.99. These came from an auction. They did take a while to sell. Also sold, these were like carved bull heads with the horns. They were by a company called Joanna, J-O-A-N-A, -A, and they sold for $39.99. We got those at a yard sale, and I think we paid $5 for those. Here's another Nick Chave um, hair care item that sells really well. This was for the Velvet Mesquite Hairspray. It was for a set of two, and those sold for $69.99, again from that same beauty auction. Um, we sold a vintage from 1989 Noma Christmas ornament. This one was of a carousel, so it had like motion to it once you like hooked it up into your um, Christmas lights. That sold for $19.99. Came from a yard sale, and I think we paid maybe $2 for it. Another beauty auction item. This is a first aid beauty eye cream that sold for $29.99. And then we also have another Nintendo GameCube game. This one was of Luigi's Mansion that sold for $69.99. Another beauty auction piece was this Josie Marin body butter in the scent Vanilla Peach that sold for $12.99. Here's a Halloween item that recently sold a vintage Bayshore pumpkin blow mold and he had a top hat on him that sold for $49.99. No joke, I was watching a whatnot show the other day and someone had one of these for sale and it sold for almost $60 and I'm thinking like oh my gosh, go buy mine because mine is so much cheaper than that. And 
quite frankly, it sold like a couple days later. So that's awesome. Uh, next item was also a recent beauty auction piece. This was for a Lancome Intense Skin Revitalizer. Sold for $139.99. I should probably start using some of these like anti-aging <laughs> skin creams but I'm so like I don't know I am okay with just the whole aging process like it doesn't bug me how I look um you know what I mean like I'm comfortable with how I look and obviously you know Eric I know is going to love me regardless of what I look like so like I'm not worried <laughs> about that so I'm not too hung up on like wrinkles and things like that like it's just it's gonna happen and I'm getting older so I'm just living with it just embracing it um plus I think sometimes that stuff I feel like probably like makes the process of wrinkles come even faster if that makes sense because they just these companies just want you to keep buying it kind of thing I, I'm a little not trusting of it all <laughs> um next it was for this was a jumbo a really large 32 ounce philosophy purity made simple face cleanser that sold for $42.99 and that came from one of the first beauty auctions. I was getting a lot of philosophy that day. Um, next item also came from one of the folk art auctions. This was a Majala, Ma I always want to say Majalika, and I think it's Majalika. Um, it had two gnomes on it. It was a wall plaque by Villaroy and Bach that sold for $39.99. Also sold just a little Barbie guitar, a uh, little Barbie and the Rockers guitar for $6.99. This came out of a bag of Barbie stuff I purchased at a yard sale. I think I paid $10 for the bag and I've been slowly parting out stuff from that bag. Um, also sold a NASCAR Ernie Irvin hat for $39.99. Eric got this at a yard sale and he paid 50 cents for it. Next item also came from one of those folk art auctions. This was for a little miniature basket, literally two inches. Just a tiny, tiny little basket. But this was made by someone who was really popular for their basket making named Daryl Arroyo. Um, it sold for $89.99. I had three baskets by them and they all sold for very good money. In fact, a larger basket sold for the same amount as this miniature one. Oh, here is that Holt Howard uh, wall pocket key ring holder. Just recently got this at an auction. I paid $60 for it at the auction and it sold already for $169.99. I was sad to see it go because it was so cute, but I'm in this business to be making some money. Michelle is ready to move. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep on saving my money so we can move. Um, next, I have another set of the vintage from 1992 Halloween McNugget Buddies. I had quite a few sets of these. <laughs> um, and again, these sold for $79.99. You recently saw these. These were some vintage CoverGirl um, makeup sponge wedges. So Eric and I got like this whole box of like new old stock CoverGirl makeup brushes and makeup sponges. We paid $5 for the box. I sold two of the wedge sponges so far for a total of $39.98. Here's another Catherine Lily white ornament. This one was of a, a pumpkin cat that sold for $9.99. Also sold a lot of four Oral-B replacement toothbrush heads for $19.99. I've been selling these in lots of four. I think I sold them all except for one, I have one lot left. And I was paying a dollar for four of them at a church sale. So four for a dollar and I've been selling four for $19.99. I also sold this really cute, this was like a clip one of these three 
balloons and it was actually by Kurt Adler. Um, those sold for $16.99. They came from an auction. They were actually like clipped onto something so you could clip them onto anything type of thing. Uh, here's another Catherine Lily White Halloween ornament of a black cat holding a little um, garland that sold for $9.99. And the last thing for this Ching was a brass pistol shaped door knocker. Eric won this at an auction and it sold for $29.99. I've been dying to see what my chiching was earlier. I sold another beauty item for $18.99. It was a first aid beauty coconut skin smoothing um, priming moisturizer. So sales have been doing good and that leads me to past 31 days, my sales are up 37.8%. Sales have been really good lately. I mean, really good. Um, today was actually, and Eric, and Eric, well, I was excited too, but Eric was really, really excited today when we dropped off packages at the post office. We actually dropped them off out back by like the roll up doors. And that's, Eric's like, that's when you know you made it. When you have so many packages, you have to roll up out back to drop them off because you'll have their counters too full. So he was just so excited about that. I let him have his moment. I was just like, yeah, I mean, it's it's neat, um, but it's, it's whatever. <laughs> just so happy um so that was the first time we ever did that because like I said sales have been really 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 good and we had a lot of packages go out and I don't know I'm really excited it makes me really excited for the rest of the year to see you know what happens like I said still just trying to save and save and save and save because like my dream right now um, is to move. Like I'm ready to move to our forever home and I've been ready, but like I'm really itching for it. It's like we are not getting any younger <laughs> and I am just so ready to have our forever home. Um, and yeah, I'm just excited about it. We've been living here um, since I want to say we moved in here in 2008, I want to say, or 2009, I can't remember, it was somewhere around that time frame, and like I said, most of you, you know, we live in a townhouse, so space is just not, not good for us, we do not have a lot of space to store a lot of inventory and I want to continuously grow and grow and grow and sometimes I feel like it's getting a little hard. Um, like I said, we do have a storage unit and we've been trying to get an antique booth um, but the wait list is just so incredibly long. I feel like that'll help like get some stuff out of the house in maybe a bit of a quicker manner. I'm not sure. It's all going to be new to us as far as having an antique booth because we never had one before. Um, Eric's at the auction. I always feel like he's at the auction when I'm recording. Um, so what was I saying? Eric is distracting me. Um... So yeah, we, we just kind of struggle with with space and the ability to continuously continuously grow because we don't have a place for, you know, all of the inventory we bring in. And then there's sometimes like some neat things will come up at the auction that are like large, like whether that's furniture or what have you. And I can't bid on it because we don't have a place to put it or store it or take it or anything like that. So it would just be nice to have more space to be able to, you know, buy more things or buy larger things and that type of thing. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's just something that I have been really trying to, to buckle down and just keep listing and, and making, making that cash, you know what I mean? So just to get our forever home. <laughs> Those are my dreams right now. Um, 
but yeah, I am really happy with how sales have been. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. Oh, eBay related. I did this, this kind of like, I don't know. I think something a little bit fishy about this. So I sold something on eBay and I, the buyer, uh, click, they opened a case claiming that they didn't receive their item. So I checked the tracking number and the tracking number said it was delivered. So I just went in and I resubmitted the tracking number just to show like, okay, well, it says that it was delivered. And at that point, there's nothing I can do. The only thing you can do if someone says something like that is to tell them like your best bet is to go to your local post office, talk to them, see if they can get anywhere with it, see if like they happen to have it at the post office or it's still on the truck of their mail carrier or what have you. Like your best bet is to have them go to their post office because obviously you don't know where it's at. It just says it was delivered. So I, you know, resubmitted the tracking number. I would say, was it the next day or was it later that day? They claimed they got it, but then they opened up a return. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'm thinking that they realized, and maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm just thinking too much into it, but like my thinking was maybe they realized that they couldn't claim that they didn't get it because the tracking showed it was delivered. So now the next step is to open a return and maybe they're thinking, I'll just refund them so they don't have to return the item just to like, get it over with, drop it, that type of thing, which I, I think there are some sellers out there who do that type of thing who, you know, will just be like, okay, well, I don't, I don't want to deal with this type of thing and just give them their money. This was a very expensive item, so that's not happening. <laughs> um, so yeah, they opened a return and they have, and I don't understand why eBay does this either. They have until October 2nd to send it back. That's next month. They have almost an entire month to ship it back. Why does eBay allow buyers that long to return something? Like there's no reason for it. Us as sellers have to ship out as quickly as possible, but yet when someone wants to return something, they can just wait a month and then return it. Like, I think that's stupid personally. It's stupid eBay. So, Anyway, they have until October 2nd to return it. As of, I think yesterday when I looked, they, had, they hadn't returned it yet. Um, so who knows if they'll actually return it or not. But, um, you know, I feel like it's been a while since I had any kind of issues like that recently as far as sales go. Like I haven't really had many returns and things like that, which is always good, knock on wood. Um, so that's like, the most recent one that I've been dealing with. I just thought it was so weird though, like claiming they didn't get it and then claiming they got it and then opening the return was just like, wow, you know what I mean? So there's that. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I really wanted to talk about or anything, but I can't really, can't really think of anything. So I think I'll cut, cut the video there. Um, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought down in the comments. I apologize that I haven't, like I don't, I'm not posting every day um, and that type of thing. And you know, I just, I'm struggling at times. I struggle one as to like, what videos am I going to make? Um, you know what I mean? And then I'm also struggling because sometimes I just don't feel like filming and editing a video. Like I'd rather spend that time either listing or, you know, spending time with Eric and the dog or doing something like relaxing and that kind of thing. So <clears throat> I do, I do struggle with that a lot. And that's why you don't see me post like every every single day. I'd love to, but it's just, it's not, 
humanly possible for me to do that and actually get stuff done and enjoy my life at the same time so um maybe one day we'll get there but you know i have been making youtube videos for like 13 years because i've been making videos back you know on my other channel since like Oh my gosh, it's definitely been 13 years since I've been filming YouTube videos. And, you know, YouTube was always a part of my life for such a long time. And I'd like it to continue to be a part of my life, but 13 years of making YouTube videos, it, it gets exhausting. It really, really does. Um, <laughs> oh gosh, it's so funny when Eric texts me when he's at the auction. So he, like I said, he went to the auction today and there was literally only like, I think two or three things I'm interested in. So hopefully he doesn't have to stay long. He should have just put left bins in and then just came home. But sometimes he just likes going to the auction and talking to people and things like that. He hasn't been having to work lately. Um, they actually did hire someone who has been coming to work. So <laughs> he hasn't been having to work. Um, but... Yeah, that's pretty much everything. I feel like I'm rambling a bit now, so I'm gonna hop on off of here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.